Thank you all for tuning in to this week's chapel service. This week is Valentine's Day week, uh, and you may be watching it on different days, but we are excited and thrilled that you have taken an opportunity uh, to join us here at Bishop Memorial Chapel Service as we focus in on the idea and the thought of Ho'omau and what that looks like for us as we continue to live like Jesus. Uh, please join us as we sing a song, as we say a prayer, um, participate along with us today. Mahalo. Kasela ho e amo, ma o he avana ni lulu amo. He holo ino sela ane na e apo, e e a e ma kava apa sela ho e amo, ho e amo sela ho e amo. No na na lu e ho e na e amau e e ma kava pa asela o ya ho Jesus pili ya ya pili pa a ho e amau o ha kalama sela na na iyo e e e kapoli e ua ulo ano. Ai e kava apa asela mele amau Nani haleluya e ua pai ola no Ho e amau sela ho e amau Pi i no nanalu e ho e na e amau E e ma kava apa asela o ya ho i esu Pili ya ya pili pa a ho e amau Pili ya ya pili pa a ho e amau Pili ya ya pili pa a ho e amau Today's scripture will be read both Maka'olelo Hawai'i and Maka'olelo Pelikania. Let us hear the word of the Lord. E helu helu ana au ai, ko puke o matai o makuna iwa kālua kumavalu, na pōku umi kumaiwa, ahiki ka pōku iwa kālua. Penei i pala pala ia. E hele a e o ko e hoho māna aku i nā lāhui kanaka a pau. E baptizo ana ia lāko i loko ka inoa o kamakua. A o kikiki a o kauha na hema lele. E a o aku ana ya la ko e malama ina me a pau a ui kauha aku a ya o ko. A ya ho i o vau na me o ko ina manava a pau a hiki ka ho pena o ke ya au. A mene. Today's scripture reading comes to us from the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Thanks be to God for the reading and understanding of his holy word. Amen. Let us listen with open ears and hearts to today's manao. Aloha kakayaka. Thank you again for being here. Earlier this morning, I was thinking as I was doing some personal study about the idea of the maturation process and authority and what that looks like. And depending on who you ask, right, you may get different results as to whether or not Kahu is mature or not, right? So you ask my bosses and they will say, 
Yes, he is mature and he is ready for this position. But if you go ask my wife, my wife will give you a different answer. This week we've been, or last night we celebrated Valentine's Day. And one of my wife's favorite descriptions of me is she calls me a pest. Uh, And I love being called a pest and I enjoy it and I live in the moment of being called a pest. And so last night for Valentine's Day, what I did was I printed off all of these little pictures with bugs and I made a little map for her to walk around our house, uh, going around in circles and giving her fake gifts and fake awards, but all to the idea of being a pest. Right? And so as we think about the way that we carry ourselves with different people, so some people, maybe for you as students, with your teachers, you carry yourself in a specific way, but when you're around your friends, you carry yourself in a different way. And one of the things that inevitably happens as we start to let our guard down a little bit is people start to ask a question. Is this person mature enough for this position? Right? If you got to see some of the side of me that my wife gets to see, right, she might ask that question sometimes. Like, is Kahu good enough to be the Kahu? So before we continue on, so rest assured that I am uh, qualified and okay to be your Kahu. But we all do this questioning in our own ways. We all have this habit or have this way of questioning authority. Right? Who died and made you boss? Why do you get to be the boss of me? Why does this person in our group project get to be the one that tells everybody else what to do? And we all wrestle with that, and part of the wrestling with that comes with our understanding of where we are at in the maturation process. Uh, are you mature enough to be a leader? Are you mature enough to be in this position of authority? And for Jesus, he was faced with the same questions. He was faced with the same questions. Uh, how is it that you get to do the things that you do? And so as we think about our value of focus for this week, our value of focus is ho'omau, to preserve and perpetuate. We're going to talk first about the authority that Jesus had. What is it that gave Jesus this authority? What did he do with that authority? And how does it help us? as we continue to live today to perpetuate the message of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This morning's scripture reading comes to us from the book of Matthew chapter 28, and it is actually the very last scriptures that are written in the gospel of Matthew. All authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. So how is it that Jesus gained all of this authority? Well, one way that Jesus gained some authority is other people recognized it in him. And so in Matthew chapter 8, there's a story about a centurion who's an army commander. And he comes to Jesus and he says, Jesus, can you heal one of my soldiers? And Jesus tells him, okay, I'm come to your house and I'll look at your soldier and I'll pray over him and heal him. But the centurion looks at Jesus and he tells Jesus, Jesus, I know what it's like to have authority. And I know that you have authority. In fact, you have enough authority that you can just simply say the words and my soldier will be healed. And so here was a person with authority already recognizing someone else that also has authority. So that's the first way where we recognize who is it in our life that has authority. The second way we recognize authority in Jesus is Jesus does some crazy things, right? So turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, Jesus does crazy things. And now turn to your other neighbor and go, so do I. Right? And Jesus does some, just some absolutely crazy things when you think about it. In Matthew chapter nine, there's a paralyzed man that comes into this home and he's brought into this home by four of his friends. And they lay the paralyzed man at Jesus' feet And he asked Jesus, Jesus, can you heal me? Jesus looks at the man and Jesus tells him, your sins are forgiven. Kind of a bummer for the paralyzed man. He's thinking, I came here so you would help me walk and you're going to tell me my sins are forgiven? That's not what I came for. So a little bit of a bummer for him. 
But there's these other group of people called the scribes and the Pharisees, and they get mad at Jesus because they're like the only one that can actually forgive sins and the only one that has authority to forgive sins is God himself. And so they start questioning Jesus and Jesus looks at them and Jesus goes, what's easier to say? Is it easier to tell him that his sins are forgiven or is it easier to tell him to get up and start walking? Well, the answer is obvious. It's easier to tell him your sins are forgiven because how can we verify whether his sins are forgiven or not? Nobody can, right? But if Jesus was to say to him, stand up, walk, and go about your way, then we actually have to see him stand up and walk and, and go about his way. And this is a crazy thing that Jesus does where he recognizes that the harder thing for him to do is to tell the man to get up and walk. And Jesus does the crazy thing and he gets up and he walks. And that isn't the last crazy thing that he does. We'll go back to Matthew chapter 28 where we started our day or where we started this message. And Matthew 28 comes at the end of Jesus's life. And what was the very last crazy thing that Jesus did? Well, he went to the cross for all of us, but he didn't just go to the cross for all of us. He rose from the dead. He brought himself back alive. And in bringing himself back alive, what Jesus was telling the rest of the world, the rest of the world at the time and the rest of the world to come, is that I have all authority in the world. I have authority over death. Nothing can hold me down. And here I am before you. And what does Jesus do with all of this authority, right? All of us know that when we are given powers, when we are given authority, um, our human tendency is to want to boss everybody around. I'm the boss now. I tell you what to do, not you tell me what to do, right? But what Jesus did was recognizing that now he had all the authority to do whatever he wanted to, rather than do whatever he wanted to. He simply told his disciples a few commands. And he told them, go, therefore, and make disciples. Go, therefore, and make people more like me, is essentially what Jesus was telling them. So with the authority that I give you, or with the authority that I have, excuse me, I give it away to you. And what I want you to do is to go and teach more people how to become more like me, how to perpetuate the message of Jesus Christ, how to ho'omau, to preserve and perpetuate Right? And how do they go about perpetuating this message of Jesus? Jesus tells them to teach all of them to observe all that I have commanded you. And so all the things that we always talk about when we talk about following Jesus, love God first, love your neighbor as yourself, right? helping to malama one another, helping to share in the kuleana that we have for one another, helping uh, to give a sense of aloha to all the people that are around us. This is all the ways that we get to live out the commandments that Jesus gave us and that we continue to teach them and to observe them. And see, it would be improper for me just to simply stand here and to say the message because if I want the message of Jesus to spread, then I have to be the first one to take a step and to show you tangible ways that we want to love Jesus because Jesus has called us to love each and every one of you. And to that end, I have a few announcements. Announcement number one, follow us on Instagram, kskakuapu. This is actually the last chapel service uh, for this quarter, but we will still be um, pushing out content uh, for all of you that enjoy the messages, um, all of you that enjoy it in little, smaller, bite-sized versions. Uh, follow us on Instagram. All the content that we push out, we'll be pushing out through that page uh, and directing you. Um, so if you want to hear more messages and you want to know more about God, uh, that is one way that we are taking the authority given to us and we are trying to perpetuate to Ho'omo the message that God has instilled within us. Number two, if you are curious to know more about Jesus, and you can be at any point in your path. You can be someone who doesn't even know anything about Jesus. All you know is the name Jesus. Or you can be on the other end of the spectrum where you've been following Jesus for a while and you just want to read the Bible with someone to dig in a little bit deeper. Wherever you are in your journey with Jesus, uh, 
today. Uh, today is Wednesday, if you're watching on Wednesday. And it'll be up for the remainder of the year. But one of the things I want to start doing is I want to start creating opportunities uh, for you guys to share where you are at in your faith journey uh, and for you guys to have an outlet to ask your questions. Uh, and so we're going to post a Google form uh, and we will post the link here in the YouTube channel and on the YouTube feed for you to come and to see. And in that link, you can ask your questions. You can ask for time to come into the chapel to visit with us. Uh, whatever it is that you need, we are here to help you. Um, so please take advantage of both of those opportunities as we do the best that we can in our situation uh, to hold to perpetuate the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So follow us on Instagram, kskelkuapu, and fill out the Google form if you're interested in knowing and learning more about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mahalo for tuning in. Have a good week. We will see you all later. Aloha ke akua. Mahalo pono. Yesu no ke kahui pa Kahu hi pa mai kaie E ya ma ko ka o hana Ke ho o lo he a hai E aloha, e aloha Ala ka i hana e mai E aloha, e aloha, alaka i haha nai mai. Yesu no ke kahuhi pa, kahuhi pa mai kaie. Eia mamo ka ohana Ke ho o lohe ahai E aloha, e aloha Ala ka i hahana e mai E aloha, e aloha Ala ka i haha nai mai Let us receive today's good word in our prayer of benediction E pule kako na Yehova oe e ho mai ka i mai a e malama mai Na e hova e kau mai ka mālama lama o kona maka maluna iho o a e loko mai ka i mai a oe. Na e hova e maliu mai a oe a e haavi mai i malu no. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. E pule kako. Gracious God, be with us throughout the rest of this week as we continue to search and to find ways. Uh, to perpetuate your message to your people here. Uh, keep us safe, Lord, wherever we go, whatever we do. May we continue to rest in your loving embrace. Amen.